Throughout the world, herbivores are grazing in a wide variety of ecosystems, including the underwater world. Underwater, you have plant beds that are being grazed by large herbivores, such as swans, manatees or green turtles. And these animals have very strong effects on these submerged vegetation. You can see that here in the picture, to the left, there's a low density of green turtles. And to the right, it's the same plant bed one year later, when there was locally a very high density of green turtles. And you can immediately see the tremendous impact that these large herbivores have on the submerged plant beds. Now, interestingly, it's not just the removal of green plant material that causes very strong effects of large aquatic herbivores. And you can understand that if you look at the different types of aquatic herbivores that are there. You have the fully aquatic ones that graze on the submerged vegetation, but also they dig out the roots and in that way they are able to remove the entire plant bed. But you have also a number of semi-aquatic ones that live both in the water and on the land. So they graze in the water, but also graze on the land and thus have very strong impacts also on land vegetation. Other herbivores, such as the moose and several deer species, forage on aquatic plants, move to the land, poop there, and thus move the nutrients from the aquatic to the terrestrial environment. Our research clearly demonstrates that we cannot understand the ecology of aquatic plant beds without taking into account the very important role and ecosystem functions of large aquatic herbivores.